Peace fam, happy Friday, it's the Pressure Cooker and I'm back with another video. I wanted to come on here and discuss uh, a recent incident that happened uh, at Lincoln University very quickly before I head out for my day. Guys, this shit is crazy, okay? Um, so apparently uh, there was a stabbing at Lincoln University and uh, the perpetrator was a 39 year old woman, Nadira Smith from Philly. And she is charging the death of a 21-year-old student, Joanne Evans, okay? Now, there's so much going on with this story. I'm going to try my best to, best to break it down. But it really sounds like there's a lot of moving pieces and there's a lot that still needs to come out. Basically, what I'm hearing is that Joanne, or jo I don't even know how to say this. Is it Joanne? We're going to go with Joanne, okay? Or Joanne. Um, Joanne is is at Lincoln. He is a senior, so he would have graduated, guys, in May, okay, if he didn't pass away. And he got into a fight with uh, several other students, okay? Now, one of these students appeared to be the family member of Nadira Smith, and this is Nadira Smith, okay, who I have here on the screen, child. Listen, and I'm not even being funny, okay? We need the whole, um, what's them damn brothers, the Winchesters from the Supernatural? Okay, they need to do an exorcism stat. Okay, they need to do a, a Spiritu Santo on this lady because just looking at her, it's like, wait, what? Like, what in the demonic hell is going on here? You, look, you could just look at this woman and just see, like, it, she got stuff going on. She has stuff going on. This woman looks scary, guys. Like, imagine being stabbed to death. And I know this video is going to get demonetized, but I... I I, I just need to report on it because it's there's so many things to unpack about this, okay? This woman is 39 years old, and I guess she was summoned, okay? I don't know um, who the family member is, but one of the students that was fighting was Joanne, and uh, she was summoned, and she brought a knife. She drove an hour from Philly, honey. She drove, Isn't Lincoln? Lincoln is an HBCU, right? And I'm pretty sure it's in Maryland. I could be wrong, but I thought it was in, in, in uh, Maryland somewhere. Baby, this woman stabbed this young man to death, okay? It sounded... I'm not going to rehash the details for you because it sounds very gruesome, okay? Um, and I believe in vicarious trauma. But if you want to go look up the story, you can. And this woman stabbed... And, and listen, other students got stabbed. He wasn't the only one. He's just the one, only one that died. Apparently, two others were hurt in the stabbing. And there were, other, there were several other students in the vicinity who could have gotten hurt. Okay, but Juwan is the only one who died, and um, these other students, they suffered injuries, but they made it. Okay, he died on the scene. He died on the scene. So here's the thing, all right? who Like, I'm assuming whoever he got in a fight with, whatever family member it was, um, it must be a peer, right? And I'm like, okay, if you need reinforcements and you need help, and looking at this woman right here, okay, Miss Smith, baby, you got to know if you call this family member, shit's fitting to go down. It's not going to be, oh, I'm going to punch a couple people and get them off of you. She's an hour away. Like, th there's no way this person didn't know that this woman is capable of snapping, okay, and unleashing the gates of hell on these students. Like, how bad of a fight is it that you had to call your family member and that an hour later, y'all still fighting? But, like, guys, there's so many things wrong with this story. There's so many things wrong. Why not call the police? Why not, like, get away? Like, oh, my gosh. If this lady had time to drive an hour to come stab this kid, that means they must have been going at it for a while. That means somebody could have walked away, Okay. That means you could have enlisted some other peers if you really, really thought it was that deep. I just don't understand. Like, this, look at this woman. Child, I would not want to meet her on any street corner, street corner daytime, nighttime, or otherwise. All right? Because this lady, she, oh my gosh. Okay? It's crazy. So this is a very sad story. His family um, is in mourning, obviously, and grieving. They've thanked law enforcement for, you know, the investigation and things that they're doing. But, you know, their son was going to graduate. Now, that, to be fair, I don't know what happened. Jawan could have easily been an aggressor, okay? However, even if he was, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, he got brutally murdered by knife point, right? Like, he, he got stabbed to death. That That's a horrific death, guys. 
it's it, like not that any other death isn't horrific, but I think to repeatedly stab somebody is a very gruesome thing. Like that says a lot to me about Miss Nadira. Okay, child, the power of Christ compels you, honey. And I, I was wondering what the um the black spot on her forehead was, but I was reading about um somebody was saying it has to do with Islam. Please, like I don't want to be ignorant. Please let me know if that's that's a possibility. It has. I forget they were talking about. I forget what it's called. There was a term and it had to do with, um, I think when they pray and prostrate and um, child, I don't know. But this is a very sad situation. Nobody won in this case, okay? Very, very sad. Um, don't do this shit, y'all. Like, if you need help, you need help. But don't, if you have to call a family member from an hour away, okay, just lock yourself in your dorm, you know, leave the scene. And, and damn, call, like call campus security. But this lady, you had to know just from looking at this lady, you could tell she probably allegedly, allegedly got some bodies on her. This is not somebody you want to play with. Like I said, I would not want, I don't even want to, I don't even want to see this lady on the street, y'all. Because really, what the F is going on? So let me know what you think in the comments. This is very sad. Um, if there's an update about this case, I'll let you know. But um, very, very sad. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video. Take care.